Bang bang. It's your boy Weapon X. Welcome to the Weapon X program. For today, I have another Taurus weapon for you. I have the Taurus Public Defender. First things first, the weapon is clear. As you can see, there is no rounds in the cylinder. There is no round in the chamber, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. But there's no rounds in the cylinder. Let's close that up. So let's talk about the Taurus Public Defender. This joint right here, the judge, is a massive weapon right here. I mean, it's lightweight, but this joint kick. 45 long coat, 410 shotgun shells. You got your double eye buck, triple eye buck, bird shot from nine all the way down to four shot. So you can get busy with this joint. You got the joints I like to call the Spartacus discs. Yeah, I got some ammo, but I'm gonna put it back on the side. This right here, shoot four discs and nine pellets. Four discs, nine pellets. You get hit with this, you look at that. It's four of those in there. They say they're the equivalent of a nine millimeter slash 38 special plus P. So you get hit with one of those, you're getting hit three times and you're getting some buckshot laid on you. So now you know what that do, let's talk about the weapon. Let's talk about the Weapon X, because that's what they came here for. Let's talk about the Weapon X. All right. This is a polymer laid over top of steel frame right here. As you can see, I got the rubber grip on here. This bad boy is plain Jane, but I do got the extended grip. It comes with a shorter grip than this. You know, this one I could get a full purchase on. They make another one with a little longer grip, but this is the Taurus model I got. I think there's another company, can't think of the name, forgive me, but I like Taurus, so I got the Taurus model. This one right here allows you to get all three fingers on there. See, pinky right on there. You, not, you need a nice grip with this bad boy, because this one right here, when I say this got some thump to it, especially when you got triple I buck, double I buck in here, man, listen. Let's start from the top to the bottom. Once again, I got the fiber optics. These are factory. I got the red fiber optic up there. See that? Look at the muzzle. Look at the, look, look at the hole in the muzzle right there, boy. That's a big muzzle. That leads to a big hole. You got regular standard sights back there, blacked out. You know, just standard. But they line up pretty good. This weapon is, I would say, 25 ounces, I would say. It's, it's got a little weight to it, but it's light. It's not as heavy as the steel model, all steel. But, you know, you can carry this if you wanted to. Let's talk about the trigger pull. Trigger pull, double action. It's a, let me, let me go this way with you. It's a long pull. Dang, that, that, you see what I'm saying? That's about 10, 11 pounds. I want to say 11, 12 pound trigger pull, double action. Single action. Now we just went from all that to this. Two pounds. Two pounds. Easy. No problem. Now with a revolver, you never can go wrong with these. I've never seen or heard anybody say their revolver jammed. Or they had a misfire. And if you do, keep banging them cylinders until you get to that round. Drop the hammer on that primer, it's going to go bang. But everything I put through this, I've had cheap ammo, Walmart. I've had Dick's Sporting Good ammo put through this. 
everything ran. I mean, it's a revolver. It's going to run. But what I like about this right here is lightweight. It's snub nose. I mean, look at it, man. It just looks cool. Come on, man. You can't be a hater. If this was a Smith & Wesson, you would like it. You can't be a hater. I know you're like, yo, X, you is a Taurus fanboy. Whatever. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but your words will never, ever hurt me or faze me. I love Taurus. Got another one on my list, too. I'm going to get that Taurus Hunter. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> I'm probably going to get the 8.83 model, inch model. All black, call a Black Betty, 357 Magnum, because I already got the Raging Bull, 44 Casul, 454 Casul, 44 Magnum, stainless, nickel, whatever you want to call it. You've seen the video. Look at that weapon, man. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So let's talk about it. It's five shots. You get five good rounds in there. You can mix it up. You can put hollow point. You can put a full metal jacket in there. And then you can put a shotgun shell in there. Whether you want to throw a slug right here. You want to throw what I call the Spartacus discs in there. You can put some double eye buck in there. And then you can put your actual... You know, whatever you want in there, man. If you want to put a non-lethal round in there, somebody come through your door at night, you know, you don't really want to take them down, you just want to hit them with a warning, you can put a, a less than lethal round in there. This weapon, I'm going to give a shout out to my brother Willie Nevels because um, he accidentally ordered two of these. Now, I was going to get one anyway. I had just got my permits. And this was on my list because I wanted something in a handgun that shot shotgun shells. So I was going to get the Taurus, just a regular Judge model. I think it's like a four or five inch model. I was going to get that one. But then I saw this. I was like, yo, I got to have this one. This just looks like it's out of the movie Batman, like some gothic. Gotham, Gotham Knight type of joint. Look at that, man. Come on, man. You tell me that ain't sexy. Tell me that ain't sexy for a revolver. Come on, buddy. Two and a half inch shells in there. I believe these two and a half inch right here. I want to say these are two and a half. These are not the three inch models. These are the two and a half. What's the name of these right here? This is what? Winchester PPX-1. I'm telling you, these bad boys are the truth right here for self-defense. And, uh, and speaking of self-defense, this is a great self-defense weapon. You know, you're not going to get no jams. This is one of them jammies you could use for backup. You know, you got your Glock 17, your Glock... 19 with you. You got your Smith and Wesson M&P 2.0 with you. You know, but you got this tucked. You know what I mean? This your, your sidearm tucked. This going to get somebody up off you. Believe me, this will do the job. 45 long coat is nothing to play with. I believe that's a 200 and I want to say 230 grain bullet it's been a minute i got so many calibers that you know correct me if i'm wrong put in the um comments you know the bullet for 45 long coat can't really remember right now it's been a minute got so many calibers man you name it i got it except for 50 bmg and my 50 ae that's coming though that 50 ae action that's coming brother that desert eagle is coming Believe me, I'm waiting for my permits to come now. 
I'm gonna have four new joints. I'm just doing old reviews of weapons I had since 2012. I'm bringing them to date now, but wait till I get those. I'm gonna knock these out the way first, and then I'm gonna get to those, but they coming. So when it comes to handguns, I got all calibers except for like 25. I'm not doing a 25. I'm not doing a 32. I'm not doing a 380. I'm not into those. From 22 long rifle to 22 mag and up, I got it. Trust me, I got it. 454 Casul, maybe not the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, because eh, I, I don't need that. I got the 454 Casul. That does body work. But back to the review. I'm just chanting, chatting, getting it in. Back to this bad boy right here. Like I said, man, you can't go wrong with a tourist. They got so many different designs, so many different features on their weapons. You know, at price point, they got something for everybody. But you want to pay a little bit more, they got something you can pay some cash for. You know? So, this right here, I believe, is a 2.5 inch barrel right here. I mean, you got a rifle round coming out of this, man. 44, 45 long coat. That's a rifle round, cowboy round. That's what they used back in the day, John Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Long Ranger type stuff. Gun smoke. All them joints. Clint Eastwood's good, bad, and ugly. 45 long coat was superior back then. So, you're going to do some damage. And you can get a little long range with this. This, I wouldn't take this no further than 25, 30 yards. You know what I'm saying? To really hit accurate with this because the barrel is short the longer the barrel the more velocity the further your bullets won't push out as you can see I got the rib the rib cutouts up on there I didn't get the color this is in red yet I wasn't sure whether I was going to do this lime green or red but I get around to it this just been sitting in the, in, in, in the safe for a minute I haven't shot this one in a while and another thing with Taurus, for the safety nuts, you get the safety key right here. It's a lock. Once you hit that with your, your key, lock that up, trigger ain't going nowhere. I don't use that. I keep my weapons in a safe, so I don't have to worry about none of my children running up, playing with none of my weapons. They all in a safe. Man, I like looking at this thing right here. This thing is sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You got room in there if you got a glove on. Winter time. You got plenty of room in there for a gloved finger. Let's look at that trigger pull again. That thing long, man. But when you single action that bad boy, just look how I just tap it and it go. Now I can't do that with the Dang, that joint is. Most revolvers anyway, unless you get into your your performance model Smith and Wessons, your you know Colt 45s and Colt, you're gonna get a you know probably like a eight nine pound trigger pull. But this Taurus, yeah, it's it's a heavy trigger. <laughs> it's a heavy trigger. Ain't no getting around that man. Look at that. I'm still pulling. But I wouldn't even fire this weapon like that. I would cock that hammer back, get that nice firm grip, line up my sights, bow. Hit it again. Bow. That's how I would fire this, unless I'm just at the range and I'm practicing, you know, my fundamentals, which I could do that too. See how steady that bad boy is? You see how steady that thing is? So, you know, you want to practice your fundamentals, you don't pull left to right. That's good for that too, heavy triggers. But if you competition shooting, you competitive shooting, I don't recommend this for that. You know, this is strictly self-defense. As it says up top, let me see if you can zoom in on that. The public defender. <laughs> Love that name. 
Yeah, so, I mean, what more can I say about this weapon? It's a revolver. Really has no features on it. You know, it's no Picatinny rails built on, no, you know, Weaver rails up top where you can throw a scope on this. None of that. It's just plain Jane. But I do like how the cylinder release is recessed. You know what I'm saying? Let me drop that hammer. Let me show you that like that. You see that cylinder release right there? You just press that bad boy, cylinder plops open. A lot of revolvers, you know, they got the switch. Go up and down on, not this one. Push in, cylinder opens. And yes, the weapon is clear, so you can see that. That's the Taurus Public Defender Poly Mom. Speaking of poly, let's politic on this watch right here. You know I'm an Invector head. Right here for today's video, we got the I Force. The Invector I Force. 53 millimeter. This bad boy is 300 millimeters water resistant. You can go swimming, diving with this watch, and nothing's gonna happen. Look at the shine on that bad boy. Let me go in close for you so you can see the mechanics on that. Look how it sits up on the wrist. That bad boy sit up high, right? Check out this feature right here. That's how you set off the corner graph. Look at that bad boy, man. Thing is sweet. Thing is sweet. Check it out. I try to bring a watch to all my reviews, let y'all get a little look at that as well. You know. But yeah, this is the um the Invector I Force Special Edition. I picked this up like six, seven months ago, man. And I just I've been on the road with Invector. I love them, man. They're good watches, they sturdy, they take a beating, you know, they're a good conversation piece when people see you like, oh man, what's that on your wrist right there? Other than the, you know, average Rolex, you know, Seiko's and you know, those super expensive watches, Richard Millie's and stuff like that, million dollar watches. These right up there with them, as far as quality. Like, I wouldn't go sea diving with a Richard Millie. Maybe not even a Rolex, because I think they're only maybe 100 meters, something like that, depending on which ones you get. But this one right here, 300. And the illumination on this joint, if I turn the light out and you see the illumination on this joint, crazy. I'm not going to tell you how to price because y'all will be like, wow, for real. But look it up. The iForce Invector. Check out their lines. Like I said, sweet watch, man. Sweet watch. But that's my time, baby. I'm about to be up out of here. It's Sunday, fun day, gun day, but now I'm out to go in there with wifey, watch some TV, chill, get ready for work tomorrow. Like I said, I want to give all my transit workers a super duper shout out because, yo, we out there on the front line, we giving it up, man. We out there getting these people where they need to go, whether they going to work or they just going to hang out and BS. We on the front line, man. So we losing a lot of soldiers out there. So I just want to advise all my drivers. Be safe, man. Be cautious. Your life is more important than anything. Making it home to your family safe, sound, secure, that's number one priority. On that note, I'm going to say peace. Yo, AKJ, I'm going to see you, man. Yo, I got a surprise for you, too. All right? And welcome to the 1911 Club, boy. All right? This is your boy, Weapon X. I'm out. Peace.